I want to first express my highest level of excitement in the 2020 Tokyo game, Olympic Games, but also to make my own analysis of what the success of Peru's Chemotai means to Uganda and uh, to the youth, to the subsector, sports, and to government. I look at it from three perspectives. One, it is a very honest display for what is in Uganda in terms of talent in the whole country. Little has been written, even in the media circles, about the profile of Peru. I have not seen in the recent past the tabloids in the country writing and as if this success has been a surprise to many. But to some of us who have walked the journey in terms of the investment we have put in athletics as a federation, I can tell you boldly that for me, since 2017, I'm aware the likes of Peru has been consistently in the camp in the Buko and Capturo. Training. As a government, we have been able to provide massive support through the Federation to ensure the likes of Peru honors all the national qualifiers, regional qualifiers, and continental qualifiers in preparation for this maiden achievement. One, I want to extend appreciation, world summary to Uganda Athletic Federation leadership for always walking the talk. The responsive structures I see in the Federation, which today has given us this very historic breakthrough, give me hope that if other national sports federations can emulate good governance, and consistently doing the right thing at the right time, well ahead of time. It does not mean you should have a bag of dollars or money to make it happen. We have done it in a modest way. We have done it in a way that, to me, can give us a very good starting point and motivation. Secondly, it is an inspiration to the youth in the country. I know any youth, any Ugandan, who have witnessed this young lady break the rank and win the 3,000 meter staple chase, is asking several questions because we have not been exposing our athletes in the country to this kind of competition. Staple chase is almost like not a, a, a sport which is being followed by many. So that is a call for us to again invest more in athletics and staple chess, because I can see the potential at home is huge and you can give opportunity for more Ugandans to achieve like Peru has done. To government, it is a call for more investment in sports. Perhaps I would want to say this should do justify need for more resources. We have suffered two successive budget cuts. And our meager resource, the remaining now, to support all sports activities through National Council of Sports is only 10 billion Uganda shillings, including wage and non-wage expenses. When I look at it from the component of allocation to National Sports Federation, I think we must get back to the drawing board. And my call is to Parliament of Uganda, to my Ministry of Education and Sports, and the entire government structure to prioritize sports as an industry of its own that can bring a lot more to government. I know all the world TV televisions have been on us, marketing the country. This is a potential success story that will bring in more sports tourists to Uganda. I know Sabay region which has produced Peru have a lot more to offer in the social economic and political development of Uganda. That said, I want to thank everybody who has given a hand, the technical team, 
the managers of the team, the fellow athletes who have been a source of encouragement, the team spirit and collective approach by all team at the Uganda Olympic Committee, National Council of Sports, the Minister of Education and Sports, the political leadership and guidance by the Honorable Minister of State for Sports, who is with us here as little delegation, the senior minister who is a first lady for constantly guiding our processes of preparation and government in Uganda for funding us to enable Team Uganda come in this most difficult period of COVID-19. This win means a lot to the country and to give us hope for the future, for God and my country. Thank you.